In this video, we'll be multiplying mixed numbers using the standard algorithm. So there's a few things to remember before we get started. First things first, we need to remember how to turn mixed numbers into improper fractions. So let's say we have the number two and three eighths. In order to turn that into a mixed, or in order to turn this mixed number into an improper fraction, we want to multiply eight times two and add three. So if you need to go ahead and put your time symbol and your addition symbol in, that's totally fine. We're going to say eight times two is 16 plus three is 17, 18, 19 over eight. Remember the denominator stays exactly the same. Let's do that one more time. Let's try three and one fourth. Remember three and one fourth, what you're going to say is four times three is 12 plus one is 13. Keep your denominator exactly the same, 13 over four. Another thing to remember is how to make a whole number, let's take the number four, into a fraction. So remember, anytime you want to take this whole number into a fraction, all you're going to do is make your whole number your numerator and one the denominator. So you're going to take that whole number as the numerator and 1 as the denominator. That works for all whole numbers. Number 5 equals 5 over 1. All exactly the same. Let's go ahead and dive into these notes. So our first problem says 2 and 1 fourth times 2 thirds. So as you can see, I gave you some... Um, uh, lines here so we can write out our improper fractions if we need to. Let's take a look at this very first mixed number, two and one fourth. I can put in my symbols there if I need to. I'm going to put a nice pink symbol in. That might help. Two times four plus one. So we know two times four is eight plus one is nine. So we're going to have nine and our denominator is going to stay the same with four. Now this two thirds is already a fraction. It's not a mixed number. So we're just going to pick it up and bring it over here. Now we can multiply this. We can say 9 fourths times 2 thirds. 9 times 2 is 18. Remember when you multiply fractions, as long as they're fractions, not mixed numbers, you can multiply straight across. And 4 times 3 is 12. So we do need to simplify this. I've seen a lot of you simplify in different ways, and I want to highlight on some of the ways I've seen you simplify. For example, I noticed one of our classmates simplifies by subtracting. Now, if this isn't how your brain works, that's totally fine. But I'm going to show you what one of your classmates does because I thought it was super interesting. One of your classmates says 18 twelfths minus 12 twelfths because we know 12 twelfths equals 1. So 18 twelfths minus 12 twelfths. 18 minus 12 is 6 twelfths. So that would give us 1 and 6 twelfths. I thought that was a really interesting way to simplify, and I wanted to give you that example. Now that I've got a proper fraction, a mixed number, 1 and 6 twelfths, we can simplify again by dividing by 6. Remember, I'm dividing by 6. I could have divided by 2, um, but I want to divide by 6 in this case. So if I divide by 6 here, I'm going to get 1 and 1 half. 1 and 1 half. Again, we're going to play with a couple different ways to simplify in this video. And remember, you do whichever way works for you. Let's dive into the next problem. Oh, goodness. Screen is getting away from me today. Next problem. Two and one third times one and two fifths. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and turn these mixed numbers into improper fractions. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7 over 3. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 2 is 7 over 5. Now we can multiply straight across. 7 times 7 is 49. Our numbers are going to get a little big on some of these. And 3 times 5 is 15. So we could do the same uh, format again as our other classmate. We could subtract by 15. Or we could just divide because I know it's not just a fraction. It's also a division problem. I hope you said it out loud. So anytime this numerator is greater than a denominator, we can divide 49 divided by 15. If I count by 15s, I'm going to say 15 plus 15 is 30 plus 15 is 45. So I know that 15 times 3 is 45. You may not have your 15s memorized yet, but I bet you could figure it out. We're going to subtract 49 minus 45 and get 4. 
So remember how we turn this into a mixed number. We're gonna say three because our answer was three. And then we're gonna take our remainder four over the 15, which was our divisor. So three and four fifteenths. Now, a lot of you come up to me and be like, Ms. Wilson, can you simplify four fifteenths? Let's talk about it. Anytime I look at both of these, I see that one is even, the four is even, and the 15 is odd. So I know I can't divide by two. So I think about three, can I divide by three? I can't because that top number is four. And I can't divide by four because it's not even. So you cannot simplify that. Our answer is going to be three and four fifteenths. Oh goodness, there's having some issues writing over there today. I'll have to check on that. Three and four fifteenths. See if we can fix that. There we go, three and four fifteenths. Let's move on to the next problem. For this next one, it's three and four six times two and one half. Go ahead and turn the three and four six into an improper fraction for me, please. For three and four six, you said it's that you should have said six times three is eighteen plus four is nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two over six. Twenty two over six. Go ahead and turn two and a half into an improper fraction, please. For two and a half, you should have said two times two is four plus one is five over two. So as you can see, we've got 22 over six times five over two. We're gonna multiply straight across. Now this number is gonna be a little bit big. So I am gonna move off to the side here and say 22 times five so I can work it out. Two times five is 10, two times five is 10 plus one is 11. We've got 110, oh goodness. Two times six is 12, 110 over 12. Now this is definitely one of those problems where you probably don't want to just subtract 12 a bunch of times because that's going to take a lot. So instead let's divide because we know it's not just a fraction, it's also a division problem. We've got 110 divided by 12. I know 12 can't go into 1 and 12 can't go into 11, so we have to say 12 into 110. Uh-oh, I bet I'm going to have to write my 12s out. So we got 12, 12 times 2 is 24, plus 12 is 36 plus 12 is 48, plus 12 is 60, plus 12 is 72, plus 12 is 84, yeah, that's right, plus 12 is 96, plus 12 is 108. That's probably as close to 110 as I'm gonna get. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I know that 12 can go, on, can go on into 110 nine times, and 12 times nine is 108. Now if I subtract that, I'm gonna get two left over. So remember, we're gonna bring over our whole number, and then we're gonna take our remainder and put it over our divisor, nine and two twelfths. You can simplify that. If I take a look at these, I can see that both of the numbers are even. That lets me know that I can simplify it, divide it by two. Two divided by two is one. 12 divided by two is six. So I've got nine and one sixth as my answer. Let's go ahead and dive into this next one. I'm gonna have you do this one completely on your own. But when you're working it out, make sure you're taking a look at that second fraction and really think about whether or not you need to change it. For this one, you should have said five times three is 15 plus two is 17 over five, and you shouldn't have changed the eight thirds. It's already an improper fraction, so you leave it as it is. Your next step should have been to say 17 times eight, which I'm gonna work out over here. Uh-oh, seven times eight. I know that seven times seven is 49, so I just have to add seven to that. So 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So there's my six and my five. Eight times one is eight plus five is nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 136. Getting some big numbers today. Five times three is 15. So I have to see how many times 15 can go into 136. Now I have some of my 15s memorized, but not all of them. So we're gonna have to divide it out. 
136 divided by 15. Marker's getting a little sketchy today. All right, so 15. 15 times 2 is 30, times 3 is 45, times 4 is 60, times 5 is 75, then 90, then 105, and then 120, and then 135. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to double check myself just in case I multiply that wrong because that's very possible. 9 times 5 is 45. 9 times 1 is 9 plus 4 is 13. I'm correct. So 15 can go into 136 nine times, and that equals 135 with one left over. So remember, we're going to pull our answer is the whole number. Our remainder is the numerator, and our divisor is the denominator. So 9 and 1 15th is what you should have gotten. This one took a little bit more steps, a little little more several more steps than the other one um so double check your work with mine and see if there's any point where you messed up if you did get the wrong answer see if you can find where you messed up um, and identify it and if you have any questions make sure to raise your hand last but not least you've got a word problem ash finished three and two-thirds alex topics john finished two and a half times as many how many did John finish? So some of you, when you look at this problem, I see you get a little bit confused. Most important thing to remember is we have times as many. That means you're just going to multiply the two numbers. So you're going to be multiplying three and two thirds times two and one half. So I want you to go ahead, create your improper fractions, multiply them and come up with your mixed number answer. And then I'll check back in with you. For this one, you should have said 3 times 3 is 9, plus 2, 10, 11 over 3 times 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5 over 2. If you multiply straight across, 11 times 5 is 55, 3 times 2 is 6. So now we have to figure out 55 divided by 6. So 55 divided by 6. I know that 6 can go into 55. Hmm. 8 times would be 48. 9 times would be 54. So we can go in 9 times. We're going to subtract. So my answer is going to be the answer with my remainder over the divisor, 9 and 1 sixth. If you got it wrong, double check your work with mine, see where you went wrong, and raise your hand if you have any questions. Hope you understood those, and you're ready to move on to your classwork.